Yeah, definitely like this wood. Wildlife's pretty amazing, really. Only thing is, you've got lots of paths, and you can't really get get on your own. Really, it's always people walking dogs. So there's not actually lots of wild spaces. It's, uh, they're always crisscrossed with paths. I managed to find somewhere a bit out of the way. We've set some hammock up. A bit of a rest. And something to eat. I'm back to using this bag again today. You can get the same one, well, get more things in. I haven't tried to put any more items in. It's a lot wider pack and it's a lot more comfortable to carry a bigger load than the max position pack. Yeah, everything packs neatly into this pack and it just carries the load a bit better for everything I need. Just going to use a mess stove today. And everything's at hand in this pack here. I've been looking to find a roe deer antler. A little bit broken off there, one point's broken off, but it's still a nice shape. Don't know what to do with it, I might, might I'll leave it as it is. We've thought about attaching it to a walking stick. Some nice spiral sticks in these woods. What happens is honeysuckle wraps around the, the hazel, it coils up, which over the years when the hazel grows it causes a tree to, to spiral. So I'm gonna try and try and find a suitable stick, trim that, maybe put that to the end. Yeah, make a nice little touch that. Yeah, years I've spent watching road deer, it's the first antler I've found so yeah pretty pleased with that. Primrose always remind me of spring. They've got lovely, lovely sweet flavour. Nice. Like, like a sweet chestnut. Yeah, nice. Yeah, this is what I'm thinking about. Nice spiral stick. It's about the right size. Not, not the straightest I've seen. That's not a problem. Yeah, cut that down. Fit that at the end. Yeah, make a nice stick that. Yeah. It's not hazel this one, this is sycamore. Hence the reason it's not as straight as it should be, but uh, I think it still works. Nice interesting shape. I find it tiring after a day in the wood. It's not just, not just physical tiredness, it's mental tiredness. And you're constantly using your senses. I mean you're using your 
your hearing, your vision, and also your sense of smell. I mean, you got to do it all at once as well. You got to always be conscious of what's going around you. I mean, it smells like foxes, badgers. I'm not sure about deers, I'm sure. Well, they do have their own scent. The human sense of smell is not as, uh, obviously, as honed as other animals, so we can't really pick that one up. But, yeah, there's always something to keep an eye out for. I mean, bird, bird calls, We've got alarm calls. And you know there's a bird of prey in, a, in the vicinity. Fox is about. I've even come to associate Jay with deer. A lot of times I've heard Jay's calling and, and I've seen a deer. So obviously their, their alarm calls are giving away the deer location. But then he's also got scent marks, fraying points, kill signs where the bird's been been eaten or animals been eaten. Gives a lot of the gives a lot of uh, details away. Yeah, there's lots to look out for. No wonder I'm tired. <laughs>